What is up, ever a uh, uh, buddy? Hello, how are you? How you doing? What are you doing? What's up? What's good? And similar greetings. I'm pleased to see you all here. Uh, I'm very pleased to see Good Vibes Gaming. A wonder that everyone should follow. Which member of Good Vibes Gaming is gracing us with their presence? All answers would be good, for I love all of those fellows. See a lot of doors in chat. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. What? It's Brandon. What's up, Brandon? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Is that how's the stream? Is it okay? It's giving me an error thing. Is it is it just like is it okay? Stream all right? Seems fine. Okay. I don't see anyone talking about it, so it must be all right. Couple stutters, but seem good now. Okay. Yeah, hope 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 to see it packs, Brandon. I don't know if you plan on coming. I sure hope so. I think badges go on sale soon. 
means we can be sneaky and apply for a, a media badge. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are we are on uh was a little laggy, but it's over good. Wanna go to PAX, trying to make it happen, but my daughter's first birthday is the final day of PAX, gotta figure it out, yep. She'll never forgive you. <laughs> Missed that first birthday, yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully you can work something out. We are on chapter three. My rib's good, thank you for asking. It was a couple days of like kind of messed up and I didn't know if I was gonna have to like go to the chiropractor for him to put it back in or something. But I, yeah, I just messed up rib and just like hurt. One of those things where like you're okay until you just activate just the wrong muscle and it's like someone stabs you. Couldn't couldn't breathe in all the way not a fun couple days but I feel good now it kind of it got got better pretty quick um yeah we're on chapter three we're going to the glitz pit this is a really really great chapter it's one of the like it's, it's a little hard to look at this stuff like from a more objective perspective which is fun to say you know, I, I've played this game so many times. I feel like it could be a little bit of a tedious chapter to a newcomer, maybe, if you're not as into the story and characters. But like the story and the characters and the mystery and everything, it's it's too much fun. I love it. It's so it's so like just unique. Just what a weird, unique idea for a chapter. It's great. Um. I don't know, what, what kind of, I should be doing more like in-between stuff. I guess, I don't know. Um, at the very least, I know that I should go check out badges. What do we got? First attack, maybe to defeat weak foes with the first strike on the field. That is lovely. It's a really convenient thing, but it's hard to like give it some of my BP, you know, or like to like re-equip it whenever I need to. And it is useful though. I, uh, I might. FP drain, drop Mario's attack power button. Huh? Uh, when your partner is at it now, close call. I have oh, a close call. I know that a real pro strat. Oh, it's zero BP in this version? Really? You're kidding me. First attack? Whoa! You're right, it says it right there! <gasps> Whoa! That's, uh, that is a genuine QOL improvement. That's fantastic. It wasn't always, right? This is, a, this is a change. Either that or it's one of those things where I keep thinking of the first game and I'm not remembering all of the changes to the second one. It died again, the stream? Oh no. Man, can you hear me? Stream back. Get my mods to check the stream. How do you even, what do you check a stream? I don't even, does that even mean? It has changed, the badge, that's good. We're good? I don't like that that happened. I hope that's not one of those things where it's just gonna keep happening. It's working, can you hear me? Better now? One stutter every five minutes. I hope not. I really don't. Cause like, what do you even do about that? I've got perfectly good internet. I don't know why. I don't know why it would. Cutting off every other, ah! Frustrating. I All my settings are good. Bit rate is all like what everyone says it should be. I don't know if there is like a, if the, I don't know if there is an answer, you know? Increased throughput. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Some other people, it's totally fine. It's funny because I actually turned off uh, the DVR feature, which I know is really inconvenient to not be able to rewind, but it says that it lowers uh, buffering and, and stuff. 
So I did that just to make sure it's smooth. It's not even working. Increase my speed and reinforce my mainframe. I should try a... Maybe a tachyon beam. I think that's... <laughs> Oh, I should try. Okay. And then, what's the other one? Close call. Yeah, I see this. I know the pro strat is to do all the, like, oh, the low HP, and then you go, I just, I don't want to do any of it, and yet there's so many badges dedicated to it, and I, it was, I, I feel like it was the same in Bug Fables. There's just so many. So I'm just gonna get first attack, because that's super cool. That's awesome. I'm pleased. That's a really awesome change. Boom. See, it works! Didn't work. Doesn't work. Faulty. Okay, so I need to get to this part of town. But I don't remember. How do you. Ooh, lens. I'm gonna buy a lens. I don't remember. Don't tell me. There's probably other stuff I need to do, because the ability to go sideways. And, uh, there's probably other stuff down in the sewers and underground that I haven't done. Not a hundred percent sure. That is true. I didn't look in the bargain bin in the... But doesn't that just have the same badges as usual? They're just not on sale? Like, do you find new stuff? Seth, thank you so much for the super. Finally caught you live, but can't stay, so I love you. Have a great day. Goodbye. Ah, We'll miss you, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Pretty Lucky is actually pretty fun. It's surprising how often it works. When it works. <laughs> I don't know. Super appeal, simplifier, unsimplifier. Yeah, okay. Nothing crazy. I gotta read this stuff. New evil society, the x Knots, sighted in the Bogley Woods. Silly outfits. <laughs> I just say silly outfits. Uh, silly outfits reported. Uh, Bweezy Bird. Thank you for the super. UK sales of Paper Mario so far are higher than Paper Mario uh, than Mario RPG and exactly the same as Origami King. Great start. Yes, I know. I that's probably going to be the subject of the uh, topic Arlo tomorrow. Very very exciting. At I mean, like if this sold at least as good as Origami King and it's a remake, that'd be so good. It'd be so good. Joey, thank you for the super as well. If you don't like and share this stream, I will scream. Good, you stay on alert for people who are not liking and sharing the stream. You scream at them. What's the legendary act? Okay, so this is just stuff from chapter two. It hasn't even updated yet, it's a little weird. Um, okay. You enjoying Topic Arlo, Brandon? Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot coming from my peers. Oh, I got a couple supers here. Chinfinite, thank you. Is the original worth it if I've never played or should I just pick up the remaster? Also, I miss Arlocast. I know, I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. I always got every stream I gotta apologize for Arlocast. Um, do you mean like the first game? Or like the original version of this? Cause I don't know, both are great. I, I First game's incredible. I love it. If you have access to the original, you could. I don't know. I, I, if you got the money for it, I, I think the re remake remaster is pretty great. <laughs> Athea, always lovely to have you here. Always. Caught up with the VODs and so far played 20 plus hours. Wow. Turn-based games are my favorite genre. Nice. You picked a good one. And wow, this is not only my favorite game with Mario in name, but also likely my top five turn-based games. This game is best as that's great. It's fantastic. We talked up the game so much. It's always nice <laughs> when people play it for the first time and it's actually good. We weren't lying. It's good stuff. 
Kai Jukebox, thank you as well. Arlo convinced you are the reason this remake exists. Watched my brother play this game when I was three. Single, uh, my nostalgic piece of media to me ever. That is fantastic. I don't know if I'm the reason it exists. <laughs> I think probably not. But it's fun to imagine. I, I will admit. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> eh, what's that? Contact, let, this is where you do it. I wonder if that's one of those things that if I had hit the ZL, she would have been like, oh, let's go to the store, find a contact lens. What? Take a while. What am I supposed to do? I ordered it, but it's not here yet. What, I gotta reload the game? It's coming in the mail. Oh, man. Yeah, I should have done this before. For sure. Maybe if I leave the area and come back. Oh, really? Good. I'm so sorry. You're going to have to come back in 30 seconds. Don't come in the mail. Valued customer, that's me. Uh, what? Oh, don't just put it on the shelf. What if someone else bought it? Ten coins. I don't know about that. You know what's funny? Oh, yeah, I gotta check these, too. Uh, that's a lot for an ultra mushroom. I feel like later in the game when I actually need those, that's when I can start getting them. <laughs> Don't you love buying a single contact lens at your local item shop? I do. No, don't You don't even need the prescription. Increase hammer attack power by one, but lose the ability to jump. I love it. All right. Nothing for me today. Sorry. But you know what? I, I, I worry so much about running out of space for money in games and thus losing money. Dump it all. Yep, I will invest. Oh, that's it. That's the maximum. Okay. I expect good news. The coin limit is 10,000 now? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, well, I didn't have anything else to buy anyway. <laughs> Mr. Squishy? I want everyone to call me that. So many people call Mario different stuff in this game. It's like total running gag. I guess because he's like less known here. He's a little further away from the Mushroom Kingdom. I bought Slow Go because being a completionist gives me happy chemicals. Yeah, I've been there. So I assume I still need, uh, like a cookbook or something to get full recipes. You, you kind of do look like a chef. I mean, you don't not look like a chef. I mean... I may be wearing an apron and hanging out in a kitchen, but surprise, surprise, I cook food. Yeah, cook, cook me a mushroom. Hey, Sharp Edge, what's up? Careful what you wish for, Mr. Squishy. Why have I not made you a mod yet? Give me one sec.
You didn't ask, but you're a mod now. Sharp Edge, there you go. Congratulations. <laughs> I got two now. Uh, there you are. Why did that take me so long? There we go. Uh, yes, cook me a mushroom, please. Sharp Edge is the mod for the, the official Arlo Discord server. I didn't really cook a lot in the original, so I can't remember if that little animation is new. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, now you're all manners. Take it, Stompy. Stompy the bear. Uh, yeah, do another one. This just makes it better. I often stream while you're at work. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. No, no pressure. No pressure to moderate. You know, if you're ever around. Why not? Even though items kind of make the game a little too easy, I'll still, I'll still do it. I'll indulge. It's just too delicious. Oh, you can skip. Boom. Dark tip. Thank you for the super. Been playing this since it came out, and all I can say is I've been having the biggest grin while I've been playing this. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. I am pleased that you have been playing it, and you are enjoying it. And I'm also pleased that you are here. Sir, stomp on stuff. Okay, west side of town. Forgot about all this. This is nice. How refreshing. I... You know what? Should I go straight into the next chapter or should I hang around... Ooh. Or should I be sideways? I was going to say, should I go straight to the next chapter or should I do like some uh, some requests? Some little side stuff around town. Whatever y'all like. I'm on chapter three. Oh yeah, when I talked about green bean casserole during my Wind Waker. I was, that was a Let's Play. That was back in the Let's Play days. That's good times. I just spilled burger juice on my mouse pad. Nice. <laughs> I approve. Yo, Eddie the Mask here. Sports fan extraordinaire. Practice, yo. Always be practicing. This whole like town of thieves, it's a little crazy as a treasure chest kind <laughs> of sitting here. No one's seen, no one found. Soft stump may temp may temporarily make an enemy soft and drop their defense. I will never use that. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah. What does everyone want? Requests? Or... There's gotta be a star piece around here. Requests or go straight into story? Requests or story? Scream it now. I'm too lazy to do a poll. <laughs> One for request, and that's all I'm gonna look at. Just kidding. Story, 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 request, request, story, request. That's pretty even. Oh, story kind of winning. All right, that's more story. 
I'll just do uh, this new stuff. Oh, but well, that's a bunch more requests, though. He looks like he knows everything. He looks like one of those guys. All right, I'll do story. Howdy, my name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much. You, you look like a lot to me. But I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about spin panels. <laughs> that, little, that little look. Nah, I'm good. Wonky is a sleep paralysis demon. Is that Bonnet? <laughs> I know stuff too, seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the crater will fall. I just, I just don't know why it falls, because no one will tell me. Kind of existential. A real knowledge club. Gradual, gradual. You can just buy ultra mushrooms this early in the game? Wow. Cool. Jam and jelly. That's great. It's expensive, but that's cool. I love this. I love that you can buy gold bars. And it's literally just... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Because you can hold a lot more. And the original, you could only hold 999. So this was like the bank. You know, it was kind of like you... you spend on gold bars in order to like keep your money in sort of a set that's the way i saw it but now it's not really super necessary anymore i don't remember there being a, an actual purpose for gold bars nothing back here what is this again nothing okay Okay, well, that's about it. Let's -a go to the glitz pit. Oh yeah, I just like fell down. Oh, this, oh, whoa, whoops. <laughs> this is a new room, isn't it? That's why I got new guys here. This guy gonna hit me. Not with the spikes, I guess. That's really just to prevent you from jumping. Is this the old? Is this the old room and they just put new enemies in it? Can't remember. One star point, not even one each? Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Come on. Threefold. I'm seeing triple. Three coins. Yeah, this is definitely a new room. I've not been in here. I mean, not, not new, like remake new. I just mean I haven't, you know. No, I haven't. I don't know. I don't have access to the quick, quick change badge yet. But I would love to have that because that is invaluable. It is so under costed in the original game. It costs three to equip. It's so OP. But then they like they realized that because they were like, how about seven? Unless they changed it for the remake. I mean, they might have. I get it from the guy who collects star pieces. Oh, where's that again? I don't remember. Someone do my work for me. It's still seven BP. Darn. Six would be so much easier to manage. Oh, I counted. Good. 
Even six would be good, but nah, they make it seven. But yeah, like the I, it's it, the quick change badge is one that I really did not realize how good it was for most of my life. And then like one of my more recent playthroughs, I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> like the ability to change partners and instantly react to every single scenario, no matter what, that is incredibly useful. I'm never gonna use that. Absolutely never. I cannot be boat. Oh, need to be cursed first. The star piece guys to the left of the warp pipe. You originally jump into the underground. All right, I'll go check it out. Oh, it's the pit. I'm sorry, but I am not ready for the pit. I do the pit before the end of the game. Oh, then we're here. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I think I already... No, I already did all that. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle here. Oh, I can't. I can't go that way. <laughs> Whoops. Huge fan of a game I can't remember. Of course, it's a big game, and there are many games, and I've been alive for many years. I cannot remember everything. I just have a bad memory in general, too. It's kind of like whenever I stop playing a game for more than like a day, I cannot remember how to control it. Does anyone else get that? I like, I have to have it in my hands for a bit to like remember even what to do. I, I don't know. Star man. Where's Star Starman? Star Piece Man? Where is he again? Someone help me. Where are you down there? What that? Star Piece guy was through that doorway! Well, like back in here. I went past him. I'm sorry. I thought I remember going this way and not finding anything, so. My bad. What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, let's see, yeah? Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks to sound weird e. Huh. Happy heart. Item hog. I do like peekaboo, but that's precious real estate. Ugh, seven! Seven. Get chilled out. Chill out. It takes one. Too much. Too much real estate. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Oh, I don't have enough for power plus and quick change. No! I can't believe quick change is more BP than power plus. Like, nothing should be more than power plus. Mm. Which is more important to me? Okay, uh, we can do power later. Just makes the game easier anyway. <laughs> and the power plus P is the same. Yeah, it's worth it. It's, I mean, it's like the best badge in the game. Super worth it. 
Is he here again? We did this. All right, what do we got? We got, uh, don't need FP plus. Is there anything else I need? I like damage dodge. Oh, and damage dodge P. There's so much more use for BP in this one now. Because you got the partner. I don't remember if they upped the cap. I hope they did. Uh, I don't need happy flower. Although I need to take off like a lot, don't I? Yeah. I uh, don't care about multi bounce. Don't want a happy flower. FP plus, but then I still. Mm. Quick hammer is pretty useful, but I don't need it. Whatever. Boom. I could charge. Use one FP to charge. It'll increase the damage caused in Mario's next attack. Wearing two or more of these badges increases the charge power, but that will also increase... That's cool. If you have multiple charge badges, that's broken. That is neat. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw charge on there. Why not? I got it. Got it for now. Clap! Thank you for the super. You're amazing. Hey, Arlo, just popping in to say hi, but alas, I must go because you are slightly ahead of me as I just now finished chapter two. Can't wait for future me to hear this super in the VOD when I listen to it at work. Warning from the future! Bats. The world has been overrun by bats. Look out your window. Remember back when you gave me this super back in a pre-bat world? We all remember that time. Different times. But also, thank you. Thank you for the super, even though our currency is now bats. Old money is worthless. Bats. Or it's just uh, fruit? Bugs? Oh, yeah, I gotta do, like, stuff, don't I? I gotta, do, I gotta do, like, stuff to get there, to get to chapter three. I don't remember what stuff. Some, like, mafia stuff. You can buy life shrooms, too. That's great. I will store some stuff, because I know I'm gonna end up throwing, like, I don't know, like, gradual syrup. Power punch. Dizzy die. I'll just get rid of that mystery. I was, I was like, I'll just, I'll use it in some battle. No, I'll keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I will use that mystery in the next battle we get into. No matter what. I will use it. Slow mushroom. Get out of here. Okay. I'm good. Hey, Flurry, where do I go? Oh, Goombella. Let's hold the crystal. Oh, sorry. My bad. We gotta go back to the underground. <laughs> I was just there. I'm so sorry. We're good, though, because we can go from right here. It's quick. Cooking a mystery gives you a random recipe? Really? That's cool. I feel like mysteries are pretty cheap to buy. I feel like that'd be a good way to get recipes. Wait a minute. I thought that was gonna drop me. No, that one drops me. Oh! Three of them. You know, I promised. I don't actually want to fight these guys, but I promised. Arlo's are true to their word. Go. Darn. At least it worked. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. They'll, uh, we'll, we'll take them out. Uh, which one has spikes? I can't tell. Yeah. 
insane slays. Ow! I was looking at the screen. I couldn't block it. Uh, insane slays. Thank you so much for the super. Very, very much. Is it just me, or does anyone else prefer using Nostalgic Tunes badge? The new OST just doesn't hold up against the old one. I, I'm not gonna use the badge. I think, I think overall I prefer the original soundtrack, but for the most part, I think this one is good enough. I'm enjoying the newness of it, you know? I've listened to the old music so much. I think overall the new, new music is pretty good. It's like nine out of 10 versus 10 out of 10, but like, I don't know. Maybe in future playthroughs, I'll, I'll use the badge. But I'm enjoying the newness. I, I, I like hearing all the, all the new stuff. Why do I still have Flurry? I don't even want Flurry. Oh yeah, I can just do this. First strike, I gotcha. I keep wanting to hit ZR to spin, like in the first game. But instead it just makes me spin like that. That doesn't make me go faster at all. Here we are again. It's a big game. It's a lot of chapters. Mario, genuinely surprised every time this happens. It's like, dude, you've seen it already. <laughs> Magic room, yep. Must mustard the power of the stars. I don't know. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. <laughs> Gladiators perform in furious battles. Ostensibly, fam families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights. Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. If it's a floating city, how are we supposed to get there? I imagine that no one has thought of that before. It's like, dude, we, we, we know how to get there. <laughs> we built a city that no one can reach. Weird oversight. Uh, Nicole, thank you so much for the super. Just got the game. Any tips for a first timer? Love your videos so much. Excited to experience your fave. Thank you for one. Thank you for loving my videos. I love you. Tips for a first timer. I don't know. What's just like a standard first two 
Paper Mario games kind of tip. I don't know. Level BP. That's it. Just level BP. You'll be a, you'll be fine. See, now how do families go there on vacation if the only way to get a ticket is through certain channels? That's this is we're talking about capitalism here. Pe people want to go there to spend money, and you're not giving them an easy way to do it. That doesn't make any sense. Bad business model. I just love that they put Piantas in this game. It's so cool. This was back when all of the, like, all of Nintendo's games felt a little bit connected. Not like directly, but like, you know, we had Mario Sunshine and then we had a new Paper Mario and oh look, it's got Piantas in it because there were Piantas in Sunshine. Instead of that thing where, you know, a thing is in a game and that's it forever. It's gone forever. Zelda did that too. These little connections between them. I loved it. Seeing all the Ocarina of Time stuff in like the Oracle games. Seeing like Tingle. I will try. I will find this John Pianta. Sorry, I don't know a Coopley. I'm just a man. <laughs> We kept, we kept joking the other streams that, like, email was, like, this brand new crazy thing back in 2004. I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. <clears throat> Sino Shrub, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the super. Absolutely gorgeous remake. Way better than BDSP. That goes without saying. It was not a good remake. I'm doing great drinking fresh spring water. Pickling wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring 10 years ago. Uh-huh. Where are you headed next? Oh, it's his... Oh, Coops, it's from your dad. I'll, uh... I'll... I'll let Coops know later. I'm gonna throw it away. For now. Your dad called or... Something. Do me... What? In E form again. Look into obtaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. I have that badge. Thank you. It was good advice. But you are too late. Mr. Lank, thank you for the super. Hi, Arlo. Named my Yoshi after you. Yoshi Arlo says hi all. I hope you got the black one. Black like my soul. <laughs> The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. I want to talk to the Don. How do I talk to the Don? Finally, someone knows me. I need one Pianta to play the game, like they gotta come stand with me. My family's worried about me. No, they're all so independent. They're happiest doing their own things. Wow. Kumbella, what do I do? Hey kid, do you know the Don? Do you know the Don? Your favorite actress, eh? I think I know just the person. Oh no, I'm sorry, wrong one.
Well, that was fun. <laughs> that, was a, that was a fun little thing. She doesn't say anything. It's like, whatever. Oh, wait a minute. I can upgrade one of my partners. I forgot, I got a bunch of shine sprites. One moment. Yeah, Madame Flurry is always going on about how great, how famous she is. Meets a real fan, just stares at her. Just doesn't say anything. Until she just walks away. I do have six. Oh, that's fantastic. I don't even have to make a choice. You know, I could save it. I th I mean, I'm gonna find more Shine Sprites. It does sound like mumbo jumbo, doesn't it? Uh, I, I'm probably gonna find more Shine Sprites in the next area, but I'm paranoid about it and I don't plan on using Flurry. I don't know if I ever <laughs> use Flurry, so I'm gonna save them. I'm gonna save them just to be absolutely safe, just so I know I can instantly power up my next partner, even though I'll have to come all the way back. Oh well. Yeah, nothing wrong with Flurry. I just there's not enough right with Flurry. She just doesn't do anything that's like important or that useful. You bet. Which is a bit of a shame because there just aren't as many partners in this game. That's one thing that the first game has. It just has more partners. I'm already rich anyway. Oh, great. Nice to be you. Do you know Don Pianta? Oh man. It's literally a family broken apart by gambling addiction. This game is crazy. This game is nuts. She's like, no, they're fine. They're fine without me. I'm fine. Gambling addiction, shmambling addiction. What about you? You look like a seedy character. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ask the Robo boss. Oh, yeah, okay. I will go to Ishnail. Oh, I love this guy. Do these, like, big bob -oms have a name? Big Bomb or something? Like, is it a, is it a unique race? Okay, so I know the original. I watched a video on it and it just cheats. It's just impossible to win. It's it's like completely impossible to win. I hope that they changed that. I hope that they changed it so that it's not actually bulk bulk bombs, right? Bulk bombs. I mean, you could you could make the make the argument that the lottery should be actually impossible. It's kind of a statement. Everybody go. Is this not is this just that guy's that's just that guy's house. Where's actual I don't remember where. Is it here? 
No, it's back there. Is it back there? I do believe they are here. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You're lost. What business brings a chump like... Okay, all right. Chump twice. Just chill out. What is that, chump? You want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good, jerky for brains, chump, Don Pianta? I ought to chump him good. Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? I mean, yeah. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I get it. I've been reading up on the... The, the politics of this crime business. And you know that scumbag chump demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that? You still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Or chump, if you will? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budging on the price, not a single coin. Okay. Yeah, that's fine, you can have it. It's just my, it's just the money. I'm Mario, I go, I jump and I eat mushrooms. Money is whatever to me. Information is invaluable. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Uh-oh, I gotta remember. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial, yellow. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial, yellow. Dried mushroom, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm gonna forget, I'm gonna forget. And no one in the chat's gonna remind me. They're all gonna lie. They're gonna trick me. Dried mushroom, dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Ugh. I can't read the super yet. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go do this. <laughs> I have mo enough money left. Sixty-four coins. Dry basher. Dizzy die. Yeah. I would like one vault shroom, please. Uh oh. I do have enough. I have barely enough. <laughs> I don't want these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go. What color is your mustache? Shouldn't ask me my favorite color. I'll say yellow. This is a Monty Python sketch. Blue. No, yellow! Go on with your bad self. Thank you. Um... There it is. Tommy, what's up? Thank you for the super. How do you make a Nintendo movies prediction video and not include Fire Emblem for potential movies and TV shows? I, yeah, I could have brought it up. I, I just kind of reached a point where, like, I didn't want to go down the list of every single series. And I feel like Fire Emblem is... I was talking about theatrical movies. I'll definitely make another video about, like, shows and stuff. And maybe then I will talk about like, lower budget, like, Netflix movies or something. But, like, as far as theatrical movies go, Fire Emblem is so, so impossible that I, it's not even worth mentioning. Because, you know, there's a lot of Nintendo IPs. I'm not going to go down, like, each one. So that's why I kind of left it out. I'm sorry. Nathan, thank you for the super. What play style do you lean towards with your badges? I use a lot of attack raising badges myself. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, P up, D down... Power-ups. I don't do... There's a couple other ones that are, like, a little bit too much sacrifice. 
Um, but yeah, I'm all I'm all about the power. I like being strong. And then Jawbreaker, thank you as well. I'd like to see you stream Penny's Big Breakaway for Switch. It's like Sonic with a yo-yo. I have been wanting to play that, and I've been meaning to buy it, and I have not yet. I don't know if I'll stream it. It's not a hard no. I just got a bunch of other stuff to stream. Um, but yeah, it does look very, very good. I have not... Ah, there's a demo. I haven't even played the demo. Gimme! How do you get in there? How do you get in there? How you do it? Out of my way. Oh, there's a... It's a crack in the wall, isn't it? I remember now. Never mind. No! Buffering! Stream! No! No! Don't! Don't stream bad! Stream good instead! We okay? Is everyone there? Can you hear me? Yo, Sheila, what's up? Saying hello from Japan! And it may please you to know that they have Paper Mario ads everywhere here. Anyway, have fun. That's great. That's fantastic. You're in Japan. That's so cool. And they got Paper Mario ads everywhere. That's awesome. That's fantastic. You enjoy, man. You enjoy Japan. That's crazy. Japan's like super far away. Everything okay? With the stream? People are right. Refresh the page if you're having problems. I think we're good. We're good. Okay, well fortunately it hasn't happened like constantly, so that's not too bad. Take some pictures, let me know if you want a souvenir. That's fine, I'm not a big souvenir guy, but I appreciate the offer. Just not a stuff guy, you know? I don't like stuff. I like pictures, though. Hey, this is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. Scram a lamb a ding dong. <laughs> What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. You gotta beef, spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Excuse me? You wanna you you want me to give you a ticket for a blimp? <laughs> See now to me that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You ought to be. You got some noise asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You mean like they're already crying? And then you make them cry harder? Shut up! You want I should run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him, what a rube. Rube? What is this? 60s? You must like pain, funny guy. You're just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. This is just the preliminary intimidation session to make sure you're cool. I like this ki kid's gumption. He just came to talk. No, that ain't a crime. <laughs> so we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. <laughs> you want to help some broad? What got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars to save the world. <laughs> Ah, crystal stars. Hey, boss, ain't those things in that legend about that ancient treasure passed down through generations thought to be a lost knowledge? Vinny is such a dope. Hey, boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Clearly, just simple mythology. Uh, excuse me, but uh, that's not true. The treasure is real, honest. <laughs> Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl he's gone gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a little... 
favor. And you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Well, golly gosh, we could do anything. What is it? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young uh, associates. They vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewheres. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Finney's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's because you lugs can't find it. I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. Hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decisions. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever say you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. And her dot 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 friend. Then come see me. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. You're gonna, it's gonna be like you equipped a terrible luck badge. Yeah, I know about badges. I do stuff too. It's gonna be game over for you, Mario. See what I did there? I'm somehow aware that this is a video game. All right, um. If I were, hey, star, star piece. If I were a person and another person who are these exact people, where would I, you know, absolutely doing the fake mafioso voice. It is too much fun. Of course I'm gonna do the voices there. Well, there's a fun voice to do. I will do the voice. Rev, thank you for the super. When I hear some of the music in this game, I get reminded of your videos. Because of how often you use it, I had no idea some of those are from this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Especially, like, my early videos. It was, like, every other video. was. I mean, it's just... Well, actually, you know, you can see with Topic Arlo, I've, like, I'm digging into my old folder. Back when I used to edit everything before I even had Kane. So it's all just the same. It's all Petalburg. It's all Petal Meadows and Rogueport Underground. I love it. It's so good. It's the soundtrack of my channel. Uh, so if I were this person, where would I be? Without hitting ZL and instantly asking for help. I can't, where do you start? Where's the person? Give me a lead. I need a lead. Yeah, where do you even start? Alright, fine. That makes sense. Oh, you're so smart! You're so smart. That makes so much sense. See, that's thinking... That's thinking with your noggin there. <laughs> Like, people trying to leave town, where would they be? Maybe at the one place to leave town. Oh, she is so wise. So thankful for her in my life. Rev, another one, thank you. The same thing happened last year when I played Metroid Prime for the first time. <laughs> Appreciate the channel and everything you do. Well, thank you. Yeah, Metroid Prime's another one. Specifically, it's... Fendrana Drifts Underground. That one specifically, a lot. A little bit less is Talon Overworld. Because that one has like the loud, quiet, loud kind of thing. There's like parts where it goes like super quiet. So I don't use that one as much, but I do like it. I think Kane used it in the video that just went out today. Hey, there they are. Out in broad daylight. 
Hey, back off, you creep. You want something or you just like sid siddling, sidling? Can't remember how to pronounce it up to people. Oh. Yupper Doodles, thank you for the super. Remember that time Arlo blasted that guy? Good times. Happy to see you streaming this and to be playing it myself. This game was dear to me as a kid. I do remember that time I blasted that guy. That was cool. That is an old, an old inside joke. Just between me and the like 2,000 people who watched that one episode of my Wind Waker Let's Play. That's how, that's how you know the real fans. The real deals. What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him. Frankie, what should we do? If Daddy finds us now, he's going to kill you. He's going to murder you. He's a mob boss. He can do that easily. Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. <laughs> Dollface. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. He'll, I mean, I really mean it. He'll just, he'll have you killed easily, quickly. He'll get away with it, too. Francesca, baby doll, if we could just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love your sugar cookie more than anybody in the whole world. I want a sugar cookie. Sounds awesome. Well, the one's with the frosting. <laughs> then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit. I can go for a Butter Biscuit right now. They already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Uh... Uh... N no. What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say to me, you terrible, terrible man? No, bug off. All right. What am I gonna do with this dizzy dame? Well, now that I'm hungry. I don't want our luck to turn terrible, whatever that means. I think there's only one thing that could mean. Eh, maybe two. Both unpleasant. One of those, like, awful. They're terrible. They're awful. This grocery store, it's just like the soft sugar cookie with the fake frosting on it. Oh, I love them. Just an awful form of food. Just an abomination. No food should be that way. Love it. So good. Kane. Kane is from the UK. And he had one for the first time when he visited. And he, uh... He didn't expect it. <laughs> like, he, there's... I guess there's nothing like that in the UK. He did not expect it, because it's soft. It's a cookie, but it's like purely like soft and kind of crumbly. And he, like I was there, he just, his reaction to it was just like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood? So give what you got. You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Ah. Uh, I can't tell you that. I must defy everyone at every turn. It's just my personality. I've got oppositional defiance disorder. I don't like authority. What? I must be going deaf. I must need to clean my ears. I must need some Q-tips. Did you just say to me you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me? Do I look like a sucker to you? Oh, sucker, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I warned you, wise guy. Fine, we're gonna need a mop to pick up what's left of you. Oh, mop. I'm hungry. Uh, Tulip, thank you for the super. 
I never liked Paper Mario when all I knew was the post-Wii era. Your videos convinced me to try Thousand Year Door, and now I'm loving it. Thank you so much. That pleases me. Pleases me greatly. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't blame anybody for liking the newer games. But if someone says they don't like the new games, and then they played the old games, and they thought they were cool, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a little part of me that's kind of a petty little part of me that's like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Monster Society, also thank you for the super. If it was truly you that caused Nintendo to remake this game, I just wanted to say thank you, Arlo. Also, what color Yoshi you planning on getting? I don't plan on anything because this isn't just based on like time it's based on like when you get the egg and how much time has passed or something i don't know in the original game i always got the same color and i didn't know what changed it so we'll have that whole conversation in a bit i don't know which one i like though i don't know kind of any of them black seems pretty cool like my heart as we already discussed juan carlos also, thank you for the super. Loving your vo <laughs> voices during this Thousand Year Door playthrough, Arlo. You ever thinking about using your voice for a third YouTube channel? ASM Arlo? You know, I actually have. <laughs> there, at the very least, the ASM Arlo joke has come up before. I do like doing voices. I really do. I really do. I wish I had more opportunities. Anyone want me to voice you making a game? I'll do it for a dollar. I warned you, wise guy. Fine, we're gonna need a mop. Oh yeah, I did that. Daddy, wait. <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, truly I am. <laughs> Frankie, so, back you come. Head hung low and with your tail between your legs. <laughs> no, daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. Cantaloupe, I'm hungry. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. <laughs> Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, Boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy, no, I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss, it's all on. I insist. Absolutely. She is incorrect. It is all on me. It is my responsibility. All to blame. Right here. Don't listen. Daddy! Boss! Yarg. He said quietly. Enough quiet. Both she is. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. I wonder what it was. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you, too. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Yeah, I know about poison mushrooms. Daddy. Boss. So the favor must have been uh, back in the late 90s when... Pokemon was really taken off and you couldn't find a pack of Pokemon cards anywhere and the only place you could find them was like like a gas station there's like one gas station in town and but the packs were like 14 bucks they're marking them up to like 14 bucks and this is the 90s that was more like 20 bucks back then and he bought her one even though that's a ridiculous price to pay for cards that's, that's the favor that she used up long time ago. She was 12. I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight. Bochi Bo is... I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. No, I expected you to have them killed. <laughs> oh, daddy. Dad. I mean, uh, boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. <laughs> Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. I'll buy her all the Pokemon cards she wants at a reasonable MSRP. <laughs> Enough already. Just go. Go. <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats. Both of you is. 
Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out is a bit sappy, but hey, things turned out okay. Am I all right? You're alive. He didn't kill you. <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. Orangwin. Thank you for the super. Ve thank you very much. I didn't actually enjoy playing the GameCube Thousand Year Door. I didn't get to play it as a kid, and it felt off. I was on the fence on the remake, but it's invigorating a passion I didn't think was possible. That's wonderful. Games can hit different at different times. You know, played at the wrong time in your life. Might just not be for you at that time. That's why you have to try every game again and again, every year, your whole life. That's... I don't make the rules. <laughs> you still here? <laughs> Seriously, though, thank you. Thank, thank you for stopping by. Oh, well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here and just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, deal's a deal. You can have your blink ticket, like I said. What a long, like, weird story thing. Who oh, no, knew that guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's... Happy. That's good. Almost as happy as she was when I bought her that pack of Pokemon cards until she opened it and got and her rare pull was a last trainer. If no one's caught on yet, that's that happened to me. <laughs> My dad bought me bought me a pack at that ridiculous price and I pulled a last. Rare trainer. It's wrong. I got some intense emotions to compartmentalize. Oh, that's funny. That's a good line. That's a really fantastic line. Going to the glitz pit. Oh yeah, the train is over here too. That's right. Uh, no. Never. I gotta save first. You're having lunch out at the park? That sounds lovely. That's lovely. Lunch at the park sounds lovely. I don't go on enough picnics. I don't think anyone goes on enough picnics. I think that's something as a society. We gotta do more. Nintega Dario. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Always good to see ya. When I was in fourth grade, I paid some kid $20 for his Charizard. Things skyrocketed in price ever since. 20 bucks, yeah, even back then, that's, that's pretty good. I uh, I don't remember, I don't know what they're worth now. I had three. I traded like a million rares to somebody for one. Probably wasn't even worth it, but I wanted it so bad. And they were just like, yeah. And then I pulled two. Can you believe that? I pulled two Charizards. I didn't even buy that many cards. But then I lost one. I think someone might have stole it because it just was one day not there and I never found it. So I have two Charizards now. I had three. And I don't know what I could get for them. I like how the music carries over of glitz and glory. I feel like this animation was definitely done up a little bit. I think. Could be wrong. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, those little, like, vehicle transition animations, I don't know, they're, they're usually just kind of whatever, but something about that one was really charming to me. It will stay floating, right? Gonna be like a weird Final Fantasy situation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are here. I don't want that's an in coupon. I don't want that. They fight here? Do you fight them? I don't remember. Aw, oh, come on. I remember this from the trailer. I, for I uh, forgot I got the spin jump. Wow, that thing. That thing in all the trailers. They just love that shot. I don't. I guess because it's, it's paper. <laughs> it's one of like the few like papery little animations. Whoa! Whoa! Free Power Plus P! Ooh, I do not have enough BP for that. Absolutely not. Hey, gimme! Look at this star piece! That reminds me, I have not been smacking stuff. Sam! Thank you for the super, you're amazing! Hey Arlo, have you ever played Dragon Quest 9S, I f or uh, 11S. I find it has a very different but similar level of charm to Thousand Year Door and it's become one of my all-time favorite RPGs. I have been wanting to play uh, Dragon Quest games for a long time. And I have just not, it's just not come up. And I hear they're all really great and everything. I just haven't. Not even like demos on Switch. I want one of these days. One of these days. They look great. They look fantastic. I like them because they look like they are RPGs that are not overly complex. That's my kind of RPG. It's <laughs> just not... Not just so much going on. How do you get that star piece? Oh well. Monster Society, thank you for the super as well. Here's one I heard in preschool. If you squeeze the link cable while Pokemon are being traded... You can feel them moving from Game Boy to Game Boy bit by bit. That's amazing. I, I really hope someone believed that. Because that's awesome. What was the point of that again? There's a point to that. I'll probably figure it out later. You can feel the Pokemon squeezing through the tube. It's fantastic. That is a new one. Super Shrooms, that's that's good stuff. Swaps a party member's HP and FP. Like how much they have at the mo like just at the moment? That's a weird item. It's a very weird item. I'm never gonna use that. I, I bet that could be great though. Uh, maybe, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. That's weird. I remember that rumor too, and it kind of quote unquote worked because you'd feel your own pulse through your fingers by pressing hard. Yeah, that's funny. Just yesterday I was remembering how when I was a kid, someone was trying to trick me saying that if you like, pinch your fingers with your fingernails, like in your palm. They're like, oh, there's like tiny hairs in your palm and you can pull them out. And you can totally trick yourself into thinking that you're pulling out a hair. I can even do it now, I can feel it. And if you manage to actually get a little bit of, little bit of skin in there or whatever. I mean, why? I got a lot of hair on my palm, but you know. But for a normal palm, Where's Punio? Stop by every net. What do you mean? You're just on the phone? Okay.
How did you get here? Also, that is funny. Glitzville hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. Because you like clouds and hanging out? All right, let's do a thing. What's at the juice bar again? Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. You also come to this place? Right now I am loopy with love for that ravishing creature over there. She is a sight to behold, and I saw her first. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before, I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. There'll be a... There'll be a panel around here somewhere, right? Purchase me a souvenir. Daddy, I'm hungry and I want to eat a hot dog and I want to eat it right now. I want to eat a hot dog right now. So this is Glitzville. Not a bad place, if a little on the tawdry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. Smash the invisible block beneath the shine sprite. Spoilers, but okay. I thought I'd need like the big high jump. Oh, that doesn't make sense. That's like super high jump. A very good day to you, my very good man, oink. You have no doubt noticed Glitzville's many aromas. Well, the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot doggles. Only 10 coins a piece. There is probably something I need a hot dog for. But I don't know what, so I'm not gonna. Do it later. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Is that the only pig man in the game? I love that. Now it's just like, every time you see a weird person, there's a whole race of those people. This guy right here, that's a thing. Pineapples? It's just, there's a pineapple town. Somewhere in this world. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry, move it or lose it. Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. This is cool. Oh yeah, the whole entire ranking. I love it. Hey, just chilling here. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache, we meet again. That's it? That's all you got for me? You yeah, were just chilling. Just chilling. That voice for her is perfect. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a manual. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rockhawk. Toodaloo! Then why would you open like that? Sorry, bub. Authorized people only pass this point. If you're looking to see a match, head on through those main doors. Watch out, Koopa Patrol is a late game enemy.
Monster Society. Thank you for the super. Say Rock Hawk five times fast. No, but thank you for the super. That's right. Ugh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Watch out, he's got spikes on him. How did you do that? You must have a... Uh, what's the badge? Spike shield badge. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick. Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. I'm headstrong. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. <laughs> I will just I will simply cause you pain. OMG, that's a crystal star. That's a star, it's made of crystals, gotta be it. Why would it be in a sweaty pit like this? Sure, we could steal it. <laughs> yeah, steal it. Sure we can. It's easy. I have helped commit many crimes by now. Let's do it. Let's steal it. Let's beat him up. Let's jump him. In an alley. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. If I have to. I want this poster. I want it for real. Can someone make a high-res version and print it out? I want that on my wall. <clears throat> Mr. Grubba. It's over here. Whoa, hot dog. Whoa, hot dog. Was there always a hot dog here? <laughs> I don't know. But I... Yeah, okay. If I had a nickel for every time I found a hot dog on a ladder. Oh, we just went around, didn't we? Oh, okay. Tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. I could have been in my underpants. What <laughs> now, an athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Hoo-wee! That do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and a raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. 
Now play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn Skippy. All right, all right, son. I, I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. You know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. Will you check this thing on my shell? <laughs> uh, there's a thing growing on my shell. Will you look at it? Got a spot on my back, it itches. I can't reach it. Got stubby little arms. When you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You read me here, son? That's the spirit chief. Here, let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on now, just like a like a it'll be like Assassin's Creed. Follow along with me. Or you'll get a game over. That's how good these games are. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk at the most horrible speed possible. Ooh, plush carpet. Now how'd you like this part? Just feast your eyes. Go on, this is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe, you become a champ, son. You get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. You say big money. But I know I'm gonna win, and I don't remember. You don't get... You don't get big money. Where's the wealth? Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Whoa. OBS Studio disconnected. What? We still there? We still here? That was weird. I guess we're okay. Uh, Spawn Freak, what's up? Thank you for the super. Arlo, who voices Rock Hawk in your head, Hulk Hogan or Randy Savage? Also, how would you feel about Paper Luigi, The Marvelous Compass as a sequel? Uh, I, 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 I've said it a few times. I, I'm not a big, I, I'm not a big fan of the idea of making uh, the specifically The Marvelous Compass as a sequel. I, I don't, I think it's funnier as just its own kind of story. Uh, overall, Paper Luigi would be amazing though. Um, yeah, Rock Hawk is just kind of, just, yeah, kind of a Hulk Hogan or like a, I mean, there's a lot of wrestlers, I feel, <laughs> that, that sound like that. Just the, uh, oh yeah. So I don't know, kind of all of the above. Uh, Premium, thank you for the super. Hey Arlo, just jumping into your Thousand Year Door remaster content now that I just finished the game myself. What are your thoughts on the new music so far? I don't want to go too far into it. I get asked this a lot, several times <laughs> per stream, generally. I I like the music. I think overall I prefer the original. I would not want to replace it completely, but I am enjoying the new music for what it is. Uh, it's fun. It's nice. I think uh, some of the tracks are very good so far, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't like listened uh, side by side, but they did a good job. I can tell they did a good job, you know? I like it. Um, little lag, we're lagging still a little bit? That's annoying. I wish it would just go well. I would like that. Um, clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. I can't read it all, my voice is getting tired. <laughs> You gotta sign an itty-bitty contract. 
ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. No. Not without my lawyer. All right. Let me talk to my lawyer. What do you think of this contract? <laughs> you went to school, right? Archaeology? Same thing. Doesn't even let me read it. Bam! Hoo-wee! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzales. Who ain't that a beaut? Am I hearing a noise from the controller? I feel like it's one of those like little HD rumble sound effects. I keep hearing this like woo. Could be coming from the game, but I thought it was coming from my controller. Jolene, Jolene. Peach, I'm hungry. Yesterday was burger day. I forget every year. I want to do a whole... A tour. A tour of just all the fast food burgers and just get all the deals on all the apps all in one day. I want to celebrate Burger Day. I did end up making burgers in a sense. I had ground beef. I do this like flat burgers in a pan. I like squish them with a plate and I make them really flat because they're really good that way. So it's pretty good. I want the whole thing. Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> Talking about burgers. Why are there footprints on the walls? People kicking him. <clears throat> it's kind of uh, pretty disgusting. Grack, mustache is a fighter. Like, these people are all really cool. Master Crash. Oh, sorry. Exploring my surroundings, looking at taking in the environmental storytelling. Premium! Thank you for the super. Hey Arlo, if you were a fighter in the Glitz Pit, what would your fighter name be? <clears throat> oh boy. Um The Burgerer. <laughs> While we're talking about burgers. It's my thing. I uh, I eat a burger. Everyone's cheering. I enter the stage, I'm holding a burger, I eat the burger, they cheer even louder. I'm the burgerer. That's my thing.
Goomba Bros, they sound hard. Piece of cake, I'm hungry. Mop, I'm hungry. <laughs> Detailed rules. Oh yeah, the fight conditions. I forgot about those. That's cool. I forgot that was a thing. The Burgerinator? That's not bad. Bur Burgerinator? I just love burgers. It's my favorite food. It's my favorite food. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Yawning. I will forget to appeal to the crowd. You gotta help me remember. You know, he's not wrong. He's putting words in my mouth, but he's not wrong. I do have a hankering for a hammering. Man, we're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. A stupid idiot jerk dumb pants. Hate him. He's bad, he's bad person. A yucky boy. <laughs> How did the burger thing start? Well, I imagine at some point, as a young child, I ate a burger, learned that this is a food I enjoy, and the rest is history. I've been burging out ever since. I know the rules. <laughs> Have a bonk, punk. Ooh, we got the first strike on me. That's rough. Chicken, I'm hungry. All right, let's just uh, let's get this out of the way. All right, now we will destroy them. Uh, you know what we can do though? I can switch whenever I like. That's the thing, if you're like able to heal between matches, you can just unload on them every time. What a joke. Yawn. Athea, thank you for the super. Whoa, just witnessed the Arlo Burger origin story. <laughs> Epic. Also, this chapter is so far my fave gameplay-wise of the five I played. It's really fun. It's really good. It's just a bunch of fights, and fights are fun. Like, th these games are just, the combat is just so good. Just fun. All the different enemies. Some unique ones, ones from like other parts of the game we haven't gotten to yet. It's great. It's a good time. <clears throat> Jolene, Jolene.
I will look at the terminal. I will do it. Style Snivy again. It's me again. I'm at chapter six now. This is fire. It is fire. I agree completely. It is indeed fire. I might even go out on a limb and say, Peak. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Master Crash. Oh, that was him talking. Nice to meet you, bum! Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I give you, I will give you advice, bum! As Miss Jolene was saying, you better, bum, obey Mr. Grubber's conditions. If you can't clear the conditions and win, your rank won't go up even if you win the match, bum! Yeah, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. Not just sometimes, bum! Advice is always useful, bum, bum! Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. The thing of Bandy. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Crack! Cleft or no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Cleft man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. <clears throat> I will rest in the bed. Yupper Doodles just tweeted at me an upscaled version of the poster from the lobby. Whoa, cool. Hold on. Go look at it real quick. Hold on. Oh, cool. Oh, that's great. That's good. I love it. That's a good poster right there. Awesome, thank you. All right, let's do some more fighting. Ranked match, please. The KP Koopas. Avoid swapping out partners, okay. Oh, that was quick. I kind of thought, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, you know, you make friends and then someday you got to square off. But no, we're just doing it now. Uh, in that case, got some bonking to do. You know that, like, stop having fun comic? The guy looks behind him and, like, does the thumbs up. I want a similar thing, but it's just just a gif of just Mario. It's a, It feels very, like, kind of sarcastic when he does that thumbs up. It doesn't feel like he's giving a real thumbs up. He doesn't change his face or anything. It's just him just, like, just, like, throwing out the thumb and just being like, cool story, bro. <clears throat> Like, does anyone else get that vibe <laughs> from that little thumbs up animation? Battle! Why is it all X knots? Why is it completely X knots in the audience? 
I'll take that. Let's get jumping. Jay Gee. Thank you for the super. Long time viewer, Arlo. Love the success you've been having recently with Topic Arlo. Happy face. We heart Nintendo, but any fave Valve games? First of all, thank you. I'm also enjoying Topic Arlo. It is it is going very well. And it pleases me. Uh, favorite Valve games? I, I, I still haven't played Portal 2, which is really ridiculous. I know I'm going to love it. I started it once, but I... I played Portal 1. I love the heck out of it, so probably just Portal 1. I don't play a lot of Valve games. I never really got into your half-lifes and whatnot. It just hasn't happened yet. I'm not a big shooter guy. Boom! Uh, Darth Sonic! I'm very pleased to have you here. Thank you incredibly for the super. You are very kind. I will read your thingy in a second. There we go. Okay. Not saying that part. Uh, they actually allow Mario to sleep. Blasphemy. But yeah, it's always funny. However, video game characters never sleep. Like Mario being able to complete Mario Galaxy without a wink of sleep. <laughs> That's a good point. I don't know, video game characters, they never, they never sleep. They don't eat. They don't go to the bathroom. Be kind of funny to just. Otherwise, there's no like other survival elements or anything. No other realistic stuff. It's just. It's literally just. You gotta sleep sometimes. Just sometimes. Every 16 hours that you log into the game, you gotta you gotta sleep. It heals his HP and his FP. Sleep is important. Proper sleep hygiene. Learn about your circadian rhythm. Woohoo! Yeah, 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 could could swing the other way next time. Sure could. Um okay, well that didn't do anything to us, so let's just go right into the next one. I just noticed the Game Boy Advance sound. Use at least one special move. Uh, that is what I plan on doing, so... Good. Already the plan. J. Gee, thank you again. I recently picked up a copy of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door for GameCube for a, quote, decent price right before the remake came out. Which should I play through first? I mean, it's true that, like, playing the original will make you appreciate the remake more. At the same time, I feel like if I hadn't played either, I'd rather just play the remake because it's just better. Apart from, you know, minor differences, frame rate and stuff like that. Overall, it's just quality of life, graphics, everything. It's just better. So I don't know if I would necessarily go with the first one first. I don't know. Kind of just depends. This one does look really, really nice. There's punies in the crowd. I love it. I will use a special move. I will do it right now. Uh, I got rid of my Quake Hammer, so now I don't really have anything to beat them all. I'll just finish off one. Take the hits, because who cares? Because we get to sleep in a bed. We can just take all the hits that we want. Yeah, Coop's in front. Nice. That's how you do it. Oh, 
Does special moves is star power? Really? They did. They should have special. They should have specified. Oh, they do. It says special. Oh, okay. <laughs> Darth Sonic, another one. Thank you. Oh, hey, a toad that is attractive and not just a copy and paste of default toad. Remember when Nintendo was allowed to do that? It is nice. I will not lie. It is very, very nice to have toads who are unique characters again. I don't know who, uh, who ever, ever, ever would think. Not even just the one person ever who would think, you know what? Let's make them not be characters. I don't know. I could go into all that. It's just... It's so silly. It's definitely one of those, like, upper-up opinions. It's like nobody who plays the games would ever feel that way. It's definitely, like, someone who's in charge of the games, you know? People who are in charge of the games don't always know what we like about the games. They're just in charge of making decisions about them and they kind of just have to do their best guess. So they're like, oh yeah, it makes sense. We want to maintain the purity of Mario. It makes sense to just have regular toads, right? But like anyone who actually plays the games, it's like, no, no. I did. I did just beat down some poor fools. And I am looking good. Thank you. Guys are real creepo. Gotcha Gaming. Thank you for the super. Love your vids. Is this game worth using vouchers? I mean, I don't know. Just depends on if you want to purchase it. Uh, it really just comes down to that. The vouchers, whatever. If it is a game you want to buy, I would use a voucher. I used a voucher for it. You saved $10. Thank you for the super. Darth Sonic. Yes, chat. I am quite sus. Glad you could sus me out. Eh? I'm here all night. He's here all night. Let us rest. Oh, wait. I didn't even need to, did I? Oh, I did. I used... Uh... FP. More, more blood. I am indeed fixing for a fight. The dead bones. Avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Uh, dry bones. Uh, they have high defense. Right? I can't remember. I'll just keep coops, I guess. I don't know. Because yeah, he got upgraded. He'll, he'll be able to deal some damage. The bone banging rockers. You have a fight to the finish with our dead bones. We're we're really made of bones. 
Oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> No items can do. Coops, kill them. Kill them all. Thank you. <laughs> JG, any special plans for your 1 million subscriber goal? Maybe come out with the official Tickle Me Arlo toy, where the laugh is your Pikmin 4 reveal reaction. That'd be nice. Wouldn't even have to record it. I do not think I will ever get to a million subscribers. I think my subscriber gro I think I've, I've reached market saturation. Subscriber growth has been quite slow for a number of years now. But I have been wanting to do like a big celebration special and for even just a few years now. I think pretty much since I hit 500. And I just haven't. Because I want to do a lot of things, and I put them off. Which is a shame, but... Oh well. <laughs> One of these days, right? Pretty real. Darth Sonic! Again, thank you! I'm glad Thousand Year Door is uh, so light on grinding. Like, I don't mind grinding in MMOs, but it's soul draining in single player RPGs. Like, please, I just wanna see more of the story. You know, that is a really good thing about these games. They're quite well balanced. They do not require grinding. In fact, I actively discourage grinding. Cause if you get over leveled, then it's just not even like, like if you find a grinding spot with like a mazy daisies or something. What's going on back there? Like, don't do it. If you find a good way to grow, like, you just don't. And it kind of, uh, it kind of discourages it just because you, you know, you earn less and less star points as you go along. So the best you're going to do is overlevel yourself to the point where you just don't get star points from anything and you don't want to fight anything anymore. This is not worth it. Now you just do, like, regular old battles and you're always good. It's a great thing about these games. Like in the first game, at least, there's a really easy spot to spawn Amazing Daisies with like no effort at all. And, uh,. Is the thing that I'm never gonna use. Like really no effort at all. And you could just like level, you can max out your level in like no time. It's just not worth it. Uh, Style Snivy. Arlo, please compliment the next peep who comments. The very next one. I'm waiting. Waiting. Who's the next person? It's you! <laughs> Nintega Dario is the next person who commented. Nintega Dario is uh, one of those rare people who you can always rely on. You say that about people. You say you can rely on someone or someone is kind or someone is cool, but you know, it's rare to find someone who, really deep down, you can trust them. That's an Dario for you. A real rarity in this crazy old mixed up world of ours. Spike Storm! Spike Storm. Uh. What's Spike Storm? What are those gonna be? They're not gonna be like spinies? Lakitus? Is it gonna be Lakitus? Spinies? Spikes? Spikes? Storm? Buzz? Buzz beetles? Is that it? Beetles? 
appeal to the crowd at least once. Okay, they're really hard to flip. But if they got spikes, then I can't use Goombella. Dart Sonic, thank you for another super. Sorry about all the typos. <laughs> My phone really weird about auto autocorrect. Yeah. That's all right. No problem. Style Snivy. Please, please compliment Nintega Dario once more. <laughs> well, well, um, Nintega Dario is confused right now <laughs> because earlier Style Snivy said compliment the next person who comments, and it was you. And I have to compliment you again now. Well, um. Nantega Dario has blindingly beautiful hair. Disturbingly glorious hair. I can't even describe it. That's how crazy good it is. Who am I using for, how's your mustache? It's about 75% as good which is still much higher than average. Because the hair is on that level, that even 75% of that is still crazy. Um, who am I using for spinies? It's, uh, she can't jump on them, right? She has a hard hat. She should be able to jump on, she should be able to jump on spiky things. I'll just keep Koops, or I can just I can just switch him out instantly if I want to. I got the badge. I can do it. Her hair gets hurty. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it's a lack of two. I guess I should have brought, yeah, I should have brought her, because then she could have gone for the Lakitu, and I could just use my uh, defense smash against these guys. Appeal to the crowd once. Get it out of the way. It does give you a pretty good amount of star power. It's like a half of one. Uh, Style Snivy, last one. Compliment the chat right after this one. Jordan Thomas. Oh, what can I say about Jordan Thomas? Are they gonna, is this gonna hit? I feel like PowerShell isn't gonna be strong enough. I might as well try though. Oh, Jordan Thomas. Yeah, okay, I didn't do anything. Um, whoops, I wasn't paying attention. Three damage. Jordan Thomas. If you if you are one of the, the few rare, very fortunate people who has uh, had had the privilege of eating the uh, Jor Jordan Thomas's Paninis, then you, you then you know what I'm talking about. He makes paninis that 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 would make uh, Michelangelo cry. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means, but boy, Jordan Thomas's paninis just he's incredible. He's an artist. Not any of his other food, though. Just the paninis. He can't even make cereal. <laughs> Just paninis. There's the compliment. Um, what am I doing? I di did I I did the defense smash. I wasn't paying attention to what happened. Hold on, I think I missed another super too. Hold on. Uh Hawks. Thank you for the super. 
My husband Kevin got me into your vids. We heart Arlo. What is he holding? Oh, it's a drag stream. Well, thank you. I am happy that your husband exists. And also you, while, while I'm on that topic. And then Bandana Waddle D, thank you. We are making Arlo appeal to the crowd in real life. <laughs> yeah, basically. She's like, hey! Michelangelo, the artist or the Ninja Turtle? Uh, the artist. But I'll take the Ninja Turtle if that's the only one you got on hand. Uh, okay. I, th with all of these enemies, I feel like I'm, oh, I don't have enough star power to do that. I could use an item. Hold on, I can't do the game. There's too many supers. Darth Sonic. I watched your video on Nintendo. Which one? <laughs> I've got a few. Uh, and while I totally... Oh, you mean the, the one from today. And while I totally understand your position, I genuinely believe Nintendo can pull an MCU. Remember, Guardians of the Galaxy was a completely C-list comic. Now it's a multi-billion franchise. It is, tr it is true that like it's possible to take lesser known stuff and kind of make it bigger. I don't know though. I feel like with video games, it's a little different. You turn a, you turn something into a movie that a lot of people can enjoy, but like a game, I don't know. And Nintendo's games are weird. They don't make big Hollywood movies. I don't know. I like your optimism though. It's a, it's a deep, it's a deep conversation to have, but I, I, I I, I like I like that you're more hopeful than me. I'm a little bit more skeptical. Nintendo Dario, Arlo, please give us your iconic butternut squash quote. What you mean this one? Hold on, I gotta <clears throat> I gotta work up to it. Butternut squash. Hey, yes, please. Hold for applause. <laughs> Style Snivy, thank you. Hello, hi. Sorry I'm bad at playing while while talking and reading. What am I doing? I'm just gonna, I don't know. Do I gotta, yeah, pow block, just just go for it. Oh, she should've used the pow block. Never mind. knock the spike off of him. Uh-oh, now they're all, they didn't die. Don't get up though. Okay, this didn't turn out as good as I thought it would. I'm really doing poorly here. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I should tattle. I'm gonna tattle. That's a good idea. Defense is three and HP is three. Okay, this is getting real. But it's only when they're rolled up? What's their defense when they're not rolled up? Or is it that it's three when they're not rolled up, but when they're rolled up, they're impervious? That's not a thing. Uh, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I don't deal with high defense. It's a pain. You go crazy high defense. I pull out the dirty tricks. So they are impenetrable when rolled up? Okay. Should I, I should probably bring back the quake hammer, huh? I need to level up. I need to get some more BP.
some serious nutrition. <laughs> I'm not sponsored yet. I get I I feel that. I feel that. Let's go check out the hot dog stand. Darth Sonic! During the second Koopa War, all the Koopa citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom were gathered up into camps. Peach is still paying repar okay. Alright. Getting a little heavy there. I can run all the way around. Come on. Wait, where's the way out? Well, hold on, where's the way? Hey, what are you doing? Doing a little research. <clears throat> uh, sure, what? And a sealed wall. The man-eating toilet. I think a lot of people have probably seen the toilet. There's quite a lot of mysteries. The haunted boudoir. Darth Sonic, Arlo, the chat is asking if you have any hot takes about burgers. Uh, I don't think I have. Japan commercials for you. Sorry, I'll get back to that in a second. Japan commercials for you too. We use your game footage all the time. Thank you for that. W with permission, I will add everyone listening, not just, hey, I steal your stuff. No, it. it We've got a list of people who have given us permission. And either you've given permission or Kane saw that it was okay somehow, I assume. What's up? Thank you for your game footage. Skibbity Toilet is one of the legends. Um, I don't have any hot takes about burgers. I, I like burgers. I don't really... I don't... I don't... I don't have a lot of food hot takes because, I don't know, I, I feel like most hot takes come from, like, opinions that are very sure of themselves and I, I i don't i don't food shame i think all food opinions are pretty valid you know so i don't know however you like your burgers burgers are good i'm not gonna you know i'm not one of those people who's like a sandwich is actually a burger or a taco is a sand i'm not all those conversations are worthless so yeah, sorry, I don't have much for you. Uh, George Lakitu, thank you for the super. Hi Arlo, been watching since your color splash and NX rumor videos. Wow, way back then. Would you want Nintendo to make some kind of post-apocalyptic Pikmin movie? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I don't. I mean, I think they could. They would. They'd be better off using those resources on something else. But if they made that, I'd watch it. I would definitely watch that. It'd be great. I'd take whatever I can get. Post-apocalypse anything or Pikmin anything. Blue cheese on burgers? Sounds great. I don't know if I've had that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ahem. A spooky ring light. Missing ones. <laughs> you think it's stranger that someone staked out her bathroom? Good point. Yeah.
Is this a way out? Hey, there are two ways out. Dart Sonic. I just had a horrible thought. A live action Pikmin movie. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it would be some popular celebrity character. Or two. And they would discover the Pikmin and they would go on a road trip and there'd be a shot of them in the car with the Pikmin on the seat. It's it it writes itself. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me! I love this game. Playing it for the first time was so good. Because little moments like this. Gee, I wonder if I can... <laughs> oh, I just love it. Seth, thank you for the super. Just wanted to say my favorite Muppets movies is Muppets Haunted Mansion. I had no idea it was so recent. Really? I have not seen it yet. I don't have Disney Plus. I've not seen it, but that's surprising. I've, I've not heard anyone say that was their favorite yet. But I like that opinion. I like when people have favorites that I don't hear favorites a lot. Sorry, I just like seeing the sprites go everywhere. It's funny. I like to beat people up. This is very Paper Mario 1 music. Very much like a chase song you'd get in the first game. It's Egg. Acceptable in a polite society. Like an unladen sparrow? Just beat this whole thing up. Did you get that again? I can fly, but I, I fly right past it. I can't remember how you... Um... Don't tell me, I'll figure it out. Darth Sonic, Chris Pratt as Olimar. Well, obviously. The Rock as Louie. Scarlett Johansson as Brittany. Happy nightmares! I mean... You're not wrong. Or it's gonna be what's her face. It's whoever whoever is everyone. That's who it's gonna be. I hate that. I hate it so much. The actual casting means almost nothing. When it comes to Hollywood. Like who would actually do a good job? Doesn't matter. Who are the five people who are in absolutely everything right now? Those are the ones that we want. Oh, it did. It took me right there. The last one took me past it. That was weird. <clears throat> Eggs. I'm hungry. Let there be hot dogs. <laughs> She's like, man, Mario is really kind of a jerk. He's like. Very, very immature. Ramiro, thank you very much for the super. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<coughs> Jack Black as the Pikmin. All of them. <laughs> yeah. They all talk and they all sound like Jack Black. Every single one. I really love this. I, I, th this, th the whole egg thing really was just another little bit of magic for me. The first time. And I didn't know what kind of egg it was. I mean, I guess I should have assumed, but I don't know. I just was like, I don't know. It's just kind of hanging out, just kind of following you, and then eventually it hatches. Just so cool. So incredibly cool. I love it. I'm definitely not going for a color. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, every time I played the original. I don't did they change the way that it is decided? Because in the original I always got the same color. And if it's still based on time, would that just mean that I just happen to play the game at the exact same speed every single time? That seems hard to believe. It was always the same color. Every single time. It, it's the same way. Why? And it's only from 1 to 20 minutes for the whole entire, all of the different colors. How could I have played it with the same exact timing, what, 5 to 10 times? It was like the white one? Is it white with yellow hair? Or is it pink with yellow hair? It's something some with the, the curly yellow hair. I don't get it. Yeah, if I was just going through the motions, I, I guess. But you know what? This is great. I'm streaming. Who even knows what the timing is going to be like? I'm just going to see. I'll just hit the egg for a while. White is rare? Maybe it wasn't white. Was it pink? I can't remember. But it was the one that I liked the least. <laughs> it was the one that I just did not like the least. Or did I liked the least. I did not like it. And it was always the one I got. It was annoying. So I'm just going to sit here and wait and make sure I don't get the same one. Okay, let's go. That was an easy one. Most of the colors are good. I like most of them. Especially black. Like my heart. The sapient cheap cheeps are weird. Everything in the original game suggested they were animals. Hey, I don't know. I mean, I guess just kind of everything. Kind of everything is sapient in this world, isn't it? Even the fishies. GMO, thank you for the super. Arlo, forgive me, but I could not spell your name as one word on my browser. <laughs> Interesting. I often watch your Metroid Dread reaction video to bring me a smile. Any obscure comics or graphic novels you recommend? Uh, oh, obscure I don't, definitely not obscure. I've not really um, dipped into comics and graphic novels a whole lot. I feel like there's gotta be something. Um, I follow an artist who goes by, not who goes by, his name is Casey Green. And um, he's got a series of books called Back. I have read like half of it. I have it all, I just, you know. I like to buy graphic novels and not read them. It's kind of my favorite thing. Uh, but I really enjoy that. Super duper good. It's about a gunslinger. It's in a weird kind of fantasy world. It's funny. I really like it. So there you go. There's one for you. The handed overs. Those are bandits. Avoid using items. So then it's coops. Are we... Nope. We gotta... Hold on. Let me just take a quick nap. Hold on, I got a nap. 
Yeah, I want to rest in the bed while you wait for me. Don't worry, I'll skip it. Oh, unfortunately, I have to wrap this stream up in about 15 minutes. It was nice, the first two chapters of the game cleanly finished within two streams. Unfortunately, I will not be able to do that this time. The Grim Death Burgers. We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful, am I right? Uh, let's get ready to battle. No items. Can do. No problem. No problem at all. Well, that didn't take care of him. I wish I could use items. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool if I could use items. Or uh, any kind of attack that hits everybody. But I don't have any of that. So I'm just gonna jump and let them take all my coins. I'll block them all. Ah! Nope, a little too early. I guess they don't take coins from coops? Either that or they can't take coins in the glitz pit, I don't know. Thank you for the super, get lucky. Can you use an item, please? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I can use an item. Ooh, an item! People donate enough. Get enough super chats. We're forced to use an item. I'm kind of surprised they didn't take them all out. How much HP do they have? Uh, Darth Sonic. Have you seen the bunny cat girl boo who flirts with you? Her name is Pika. I didn't know her name was Pika. I guess all the characters have names. You just gotta, like, tattle on them. Pika, she's a boo. I understand that. Understand that joke. Stunning, babe, having a juice. She likes juice. I like juice. We already have so much in common. There's this old and probably even at the time fairly obscure band. Well, maybe not. Ed in the Refrigerators. I think it's the same people who did all of those, like, Harry Potter parody bands. Harry and the Potters, Draco and the Malfoys. I don't know if anyone remembers Ed in the Refrigerators. And the song, We're Very Similar. It's kind of like that. It's like, I wear pants and you wear pants. Peekaboo, Mother Hubber. <laughs> nice. The Mind Bogglers. Uh, Bogglers. Bo like Boggly Woods? But it's Mind? Oh, I don't remember. I'm just going to use Coops because Coops can hit everybody. I'm just going to do it. Just, just go with Coops. 
I guess I should go to the juice place and see who he's talking about in case it's a thing I need to do. Yeah, when in doubt, coops. The Gray Entanglers. Is it the... It's not the spiders, is it? Mind bo Who are they? I wasn't watching when they came in. Yeah, it's just a bunch of boggly woods. People. It's weird that piranha plants can speak clear. I, I feel like the piranha plant boss in the first game is much more like simple and animalistic. And I kind of like that. I don't know. It's fun when not every single type of person can just speak and have a clear conversation with you. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. <laughs> This is the only time a piranha plant talks in the entire game and they gave it a unique sound bite for talking. That's funny. The piranha plant boss was also on fire in a volcano. That's true. Partner move. I assume a partner move is just what? Like just a special move? Not Hold on, not special, but an FP using move from a partner? In any other game, a partner move would be like bros moves, where they all move together. Um, yeah, sure. Spider. Spider-Man. Anybody watch Batman, Spider-Man? I was obsessed with that show. Show, YouTube, cartoons, whatever you want to call them. Darth Sonic, thank you again. Someone in chat talking about how Thousand Year Door is censoring stuff. Do they know what they're talking about? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get in that whole conversation. I, I don't care about the changes they made. And you know, they softened up some of the jokes. I really don't care. Don't me. Whoever cares about it, that's fine. It's just not for me. Japan commercials for you, you get what I'm talking about. Batman Piter Man. Go over the house. Love it. So good. It appeals to my millennial sensibilities, I will admit. It's a it's a very 2010s kind of humor, but you know what I love it. Did they take out Eat a Sandwich Skinny? Well, I will admit, that's a little rough. That is a funny line. <laughs> stream gone bye-bye. Is stream bye-bye? Or is stream not bye-bye? Sharp Edge! When I play, I tattle everything. NPCs, locations. I feel sad there's so much great writing that most never see. Maybe why they dialed things back. It is true, there's so much. It's so incredible. It's absolutely incredible what they've done. Every NPC, every place. And that's one thing they did in Bug Fables, which is awesome. They did the same thing. It is true, a lot of great writing. I should, like I, even when I was younger, I, I feel like I should have tattled everything. I just can't remember. I just can't remember to do it, but I should. Just go through the whole game. 
There's a lot of really great gags and stuff. When you get to the part where you're offered the first piece of cake, please don't eat it. Uh, I don't remember. I guess I'll try to remember that. Nintendo was censoring you! Censoring me? Shellshock says the absolute best thing in the game if you come back and don't eat it. Huh. Yeah, I'll try to remember. Um, I am so sorry, everyone, but I must go. I have to go. I have to stop. I have to stop playing the game for now, and I'm sorry we couldn't get further. But we have set ourselves up to uh, probably cleanly finish off the rest of the chapter during the next stream, if I can get enough time to do it. I don't know when that'll be. Hopefully tomorrow, but I cannot promise. I, have the ca I forgot about the cake. First good, second cake bad. Huh, you can eat the first slice, but Shellshock says something really funny if you don't. I'll try to remember that. I'll try to remember. Um, yeah. It's a good time. It was a good time. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming. I liked it. I liked you. Thank you for everyone who gave supers. Thank you to everyone who commented. Thank you to everyone who didn't do anything but watch. That's also great. Yeah. All right.